going to talk to you today about K1 media or caldness or knockoff of caldness. Um, I've been touting forever how good it is as a static media, uh, mechanical media. Everybody knows that's fantastic, one of the best biological media has been used in a fluidized bed, but not many people really address it as a static media for mechanical filtration. I've been using it for a while and uh, I think it's great. Um, it's ease of cleaning is second to none over, you know, jet mats, metalla, what have you. But I didn't know exactly how efficient it was as a mechanical media. So what I did here is I put a filter bag over the output of my three barrel system. So my three barrel system has got K2 static in the first drum, a mixture of K1, K2 static in the second drum, and the third drum is just K1 fluidized. So this is a 50 micron filter bag on the output of my three barrel system. Um, 50 micron is about, it's, well the human eye can't see much more below 40 micron. Most of your sieves um, are 250 to 300, along with your RDFs are typically 250 to 300 micron. So I put a 50 micron bag on here and I fully expected it to be pretty well plugged after an hour or two. Um, to my surprise, after eight hours, it's got very, very little in it. And what is in it um, looks like to be mostly a little bit of algae and a protein accumulation. So, without ever having any scientific data before, now that I have it, I'm completely shocked that this system is literally filtering down to like 50 micron. Um, I'm gonna turn it off here and give you a walkthrough just to show you that the system is actually holding a bunch of dirt. It's not just all clean and this was put on here for a show. Um, let me pull my leaf basket here. All right. So there's my leaf basket. As you can see it's just packed full of algae and plant matter. walk around to my drum system here and show you the state it's in. So, my fluidized bed, static bed, and then my main static bed. So, one of the things I really love about this is how easy it is to clean. A lot of people run air manifolds. That works too for the 20 seconds it takes me to stir this up. I don't know if you can see how black that is. Actually, it's green because it's all algae. Well, so my routine here, I give it a, a churning for a little bit. Open the valve. And that's what I'm getting out of. Now, mind you, I clean this every morning. It's not so dirty that it needs to be cleaned, but I just don't want this algae sitting in, the, in my water column all day. And 50 gallons of fresh water for my fish, so. So that's how dirty my first chamber is. but that's literally how fast and easy it is to clean this. And that's by no means dirty. If I let this thing go for a week, that water coming out of there looks like a sewage treatment plant. So that's literally it first barrel is done. The second barrel I clean maybe every two weeks. As you can see there's 
very little fine that even make it through the first barrel into the second barrel. And then obviously the third barrel never gets clean because it's a fluid, fluidized bed. But, the main thing is I cannot believe that system is efficiently filtering down to at least 50 microns. So, there's definitely a little bit of sediment in here. Like I said, it's mainly algae and protein by the looks of it. But I fully expect this bag to be plugged solid within an hour. This pump is a 3,200 gallon per hour pump feeding this system. It's been running for eight hours. So if you figure it's doing 2,500 realistically, that's 20,000 gallons of water that's gone through here, through that three filter system. And this is the, all the sediment that's in this 50 micron bag. Like I said, I expect this thing to be plugged solid literally within hours. And much to my surprise, it's got very little in it. So, those of you looking for a <laughs> fantastic mechanical media that's super easy to clean, will literally last indefinitely, uh, get yourself some caldness. And you don't have to buy caldness. All that stuff in my drums is uh, the knockoff version. And you can pick up four cubic feet for usually about 120 bucks if you look look hard enough. But uh, yeah, now I have actual evidence that it does work as good as I suspected it did. Alright, that's it. Gotta get this put back together and get these guys fed because they're losing their sense of humor. Later.